Here at Warwick, we're combining the expertise of our School of Life Sciences with Warwick Manufacturing Group and our presence as a high-value manufacturing catapult to create a new entity, Warwick Agritech, which is going to take on the UK challenges of the future of farming. We are facing big challenge in agriculture. We are overusing the earth biocapacity by 56%. Our food system is broken, and we know that we have already crossed six of the nine planetary boundaries. We need to produce 50% more food by 2050 with 50% less land. So the challenge is there. The question is how we are gonna tackle it. So the big challenge is to be able to grow sufficient amounts of high quality, nutritious food to feed an expanding human population and to do that in ways that don't harm the planet and which meet the challenges of climate change. Agriculture is a fantastic opportunity for us at Warwick. We've got complementary expertise in both plant science and then our long history at WMG of working with industry. Over 40 years we've worked with many different sectors, especially automotive, then moving into places like aerospace, marine, rail, and we love sharing our expertise from one sector to another. Agriculture, I think, will be the next opportunity. We've got experience in automation, in data analytics, and advanced manufacturing technology, all of which we can put to use to solve some of the really important issues we've got with agriculture at the moment. Warwick's in a unique position when it comes to agritech. We're in the fortunate place of having had a successful robotics and automation group for decades, and also a School of Life Sciences for a similar period of time. It's about bringing crop scientists and automation specialists together so that we can generate the crops that respond best to robotic operation and we can generate robots that will work well in a horticultural and agricultural environment. Our roots in crop science began over 70 years ago as the National Vegetable Research Station with the UK Vegetable Gene Bank formed in 1980. Over time, plants and agri-science has become a key strength in the School of Life Sciences, uniting fundamental and applied work here at Jubit Hill and also at Warwick's Innovation Campus near Stratford. Our facilities include 200 hectares of research and trial facilities, which are internationally recognised as a centre for translational research in sustainable agriculture, horticulture and food security. We provide high quality science expertise in areas including crop breeding, plant pathology and symbiosis, entomology, agronomy, crop nutrition and environmental research. As we've seen since the start of our joint collaboration in 2022, the power of Agritech has been unlocked here at the University of Warwick by combining these world-class research facilities. We have created a strategy for the future growth of Agritech at the University of Warwick with a vision to shape the future of farming. We are focused on horticulture, indoor and outdoor, and forestry to understand how we can directly impact on the life cycle of the crop and develop supportive system that will enable us to build a living factory and a strong approach to the greenhouse of the future. We have different projects we're working around with the objective to tackle labor shortage, productivity, and to better understand what will be the, the role to play for automation, robotics, AI in this industry. We are completely aligned to the government's agricultural targets, including increasing the size of our woodlands, increasing biodiversity and increasing accessibility to healthy and nutritious foods in our food system. We're working with growers, technology developers and funding bodies to tackle challenges that matter right now and in the future and to create real impact for the industry.